Uh, Steve had said over the past couple games prior to, to this one, he felt that you were maybe forcing your shot a little bit, not taking the great, greatest ones early on, which kind of threw you off. Do you agree with that? And did that change tonight? Uh, I agree. And I think it changed tonight because uh, my shots were in rhythm, mostly off the catch and doing what I do best, moving off the ball and just staying patient to let the ball come to me within the offense. Clay, along those lines, how, how do you kind of know when the game is just coming to you? I mean, if there's a difference tonight from, from previous. And also, how much does playing great defense as a team kind of help help that for you? The defense definitely helps because uh, it fuels our fast break opportunities. And the uh, first part of your question, I'm still figuring it out. And hopefully tonight I'll watch the film and I will uh, springboard off this performance. You guys started, you started with, with Stefan and, and, and Jordan. How much fun was that? And what do you see what you guys were able to, uh, that you guys were able to do when you guys play together, three of you on the court at the same time? Um, well, Steph and Jordan's ability to handle the ball and create opportunities for myself and Wiggs and Loon is incredible. So the spacing is great when us four are out there and Loon's setting hard picks and we're just moving the ball. And Jordan, I mean, I'm so proud of He's, uh, he's come so far from his rookie year. He um, is a like a really good NBA player with still room to grow, which is scary because he's only, what, 22, 23 maybe. So um, I'm just really proud of the way he's been playing this season. Talking about Paul Kerr just said that he admitted he's been really tough on him. He's coached him tough uh, and asked a lot of him. And he said Kaminga too. Yeah. Those two guys, have you noticed? I mean, you, you know, obviously you're dealing with your own things, but have you noticed them getting coached really tough by Kerr? And what, what's it yeah. produced? Oh, yeah, especially uh, Jordan's first couple years. Uh, Steve was hard on him, but, I mean, it comes from a great place. Steve, uh, he's pretty easy to play for, but he's, he can be demanding. I mean, played for some of the most demanding coaches in the history of the game, whether it was Pop or Phil or Lute Olsen. He's, uh, he's learned from the greats, and... JK, uh, he's so talented and, you know, he's very coachable. And when you got a guy that talented who's also coachable, it's the sky's the limit. How does Draymond make shooters like you, Steph, and Jordan better? Well, Draymond is like, uh, I can't wait for him to get back because essentially he can run the point guard in our offense, sets great screens, and he just makes the right read 90% of the time. And then you combine all that with his fire to compete. He's one of one. You, you touched on it a little bit, but what is the fact that I mean, Steph had eight points, only attempted seven uh, field goals, and you guys were able to win by as much as, as, you, as you did? What does it say about this group? Well, I don't think a player has seen as many triple and double teams as Steph. And it opened up my game a lot, and I appreciate him for just the gravity he takes when he's on the floor. Same with Wiggs. It, 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 it just allows so many great looks for the other guys, which would be anybody but Steph. Do you take that personally at some point? Um, I don't take it personal. I just play my game, and I know the result will speak for itself. This was your 21st different starting lineup this season. Uh, Steve was in here pregame actually saying he could see it in the playoffs, like shifting starting lineups and combinations game to game. Um, what? How different is that for, for this, you know, group uh, from you know, I guess the dynasty years? Um, we can. Uh, we're all a bunch of just ball players, so throw us out there. We're going to be ready, and uh, we've done it in the playoffs before, leading to a championship. So if we have to make the adjustment down the line, Steve will make the best decision for the team. How does it feel, Clay, to put together a game like this against defending champions? Feels great. Does wonders for your confidence, for my confidence. I really wanted 40 points. 38 is great, but 40 just sounds better. But uh, whatever. It was a fun night at the office, to say the least. How, you know, you, you had a good rhythm going pre-break, and then obviously, you know, you get sick, you come back. Um, how ticked off had you been recently about the way you were shooting? 
Man, everyone makes a big deal about my shooting, man. Like, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm not happy with how I'm shooting, but, like, I know these nights are within me. Like, I just know. I've just been in this league for so long, and I've done too many great things that a lot of players haven't done before to, to doubt myself. So I was eager for a night like this, but, you know, a mid-season shooting slump, I mean, it's not going to it's not gonna kill my ego. I'm still going to go out there and compete, and that's what I did tonight, even when I missed my first few shots. Clay, why do you think Kavon Looney is so uh, vital to this team? Kavon, we asked so much of him. He's our, really our one true center on the roster until Wise gets back, and he's got a, I mean, he just went from guarding Jokic to Giannis and doing a, a great job in my mind. You know, he, those are two MVP players, so for, you, for Loon to um, embrace that, that just tells you how selfless he is. He's out there doing all the little things that help us win, to help me get open. That um, And from, I'm so proud of Loon to see where he's come from his rookie year. Now he's a bona fide NBA player who's going to play you know, 10 plus years and be a factor for every single one of them. Clay, about 